Good morning, trade family. We are going to a service call. Um, it's one that we, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's one, I just ate a big meal, big breakfast. Uh, it's one that we bid a few days ago. Um, she has an issue with her sewer line backing up. And we went ahead and took our rigid sea snake. Let me show you that guy. This guy right here. This is my favorite guy. Hi. Um, <laughs> we took our sea snake and put it down the line to see what's going on. We found two big bellies. One belly at the street and one belly that is kind of more towards her house. So we're going to be correcting the one belly that's closer to her house because if it's in the street, it's just not something we're gonna mess with. Um, that's just what it is. <laughs> that would be more for like a major excavation company or maybe even the city. Um, anyways, we're going to correct the belly there and hopefully we can get it to grade because what we believe is happening is not only does it have a belly, but I believe that it's also back grading as well. Whoever did the original construction in the house just did a shitty job, or maybe when they were backfilling, they crushed the pipe, who knows? It happens a lot, especially out here in Vegas. So, especially out here in Vegas. So anyways, dad, dad, you wanna say hi? Hello, YouTube. Howdy, dude days. <laughs> we're gonna go dig. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so, I have the pleasure of knowing Rigid Power Tools, and I love them. And they sent me their new, well, I believe it's still new, <laughs> subcompact brushless Sawzall. It's their 18 volt, and I'm just really stoked about this guy. Boom, son. Brand new, right out of the package. And there she is, all batteried up. I'm gonna turn her on, show you guys what she sounds like. Oh, that's nice. I just found these bad boys again. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't been thinking about these guys. These are knee pad inserts for my Timberland Pro pants. They're also Timberland Pro brand. So I'm gonna put these guys in my freaking pants today because we're gonna be digging a lot, probably on our knees quite a bit, and taking my knee pads on and off can get kind of annoying. So I'm gonna slip those guys in there. All right. There's our secret weapon. All right, listen, it might be small, but I can do this. <laughs> oh, you look good. I feel good. All right, we pulled up to the job. We're styling. This is the only time of sunglasses that I have. So what's going on? We're plumbing. We're plumbing. What are you doing? I'm videoing. We're gonna see about fixing a sewer main. It's all has a big belly here. So we marked it here. This is where the belly is, right? That's an affirmative. We had the call before you guys come out. They marked a gas line, but we're worried that there's gonna be electrical lines or any sort of other lines running right here because there's an electric box right there. Just let it gently down. That's what we're worried about. <laughs> okay. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good Do you want the spade chip or do you want the uh this chip? Spade. Alright, so we uh we got to the pipe. We just exposed it, so it's just a little bit that's peeking out. Old man's grabbing some scratching tools. <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. Look at the fit. First of all, okay. All right, I was trying to hype you up and you're over there scratching your gooch with a freaking pick tool. <laughs> Everybody has to do a little gooch scratching. <laughs> we li we like gooch scratching action on ABPC. <laughs> do some goochy goochy. It's really hard to tell in video, but this is very back graded. 
We just exposed the clean out that they put in for tests when they built the house. But, yep, that's what we're dealing with. So it looks like it's been repaired once already. Yeah, so we hit these wires. We're not sure what they're for. This is what we were afraid of digging this out. So we have to be really careful digging out here. Taking a little five minute breather, right dad? Why? Because we packed the pop-up tent that doesn't have the tarp in it. It's over there. All right, so we're going to try to relocate the line just to double check exactly where it is. So we have our rigid sea snake out in the locator. I'm gonna go ahead and try and track this line. We believe that it's running from here under the driveway, but at not like a perfect straight line. It's almost coming here at an angle. It's coming back out on this side. So we're just gonna double check. So we went ahead and located this guy. We put, it, well, I put a little smiley face rock at the fitting that we were trying to locate. So there's our pipe. It's coming up this trench and right here's our fitting. So it's kind of interesting, but that's what we're, that's what we're gonna start digging towards. So we've come across quite a big hiccup. <laughs> One big freaking hiccup, right, Daddy-O? Yeah, it sucks that there's gravity. Yeah, gravity freaking sucks our balls as plumbers, 100%. So here's our guy. So as you know, we came here because we believed that it was back grading and we knew for a fact there was a belly. There's the belly. Here's where it's connecting to the main sewer. It's kind of hard to, to tell, but you can see that they literally tried their best to cheat it down as much as possible. Uh, they did what they had to do with what they could work with. I mean, it's still shitty, but... Um, and there's, from what we can tell, there's not going to be nearly enough grade to, to get to where we need it to be. So we're going to have to start getting creative here. So we're putting the sewer camera back in the line uh, from the clean out in the trench. This is the place where it's really sitting. The, the water. water. So we're finding that the water is sitting in mainly this belly right here. Like I had mentioned, there is a small belly on the street. But my dad just uh, noticed that this is the major issue here. All right, so we are going to cut some pipe out and put some fern clothes on, right, Dad? Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my dad went ahead and put our dig bar in there to try to not not pry the Need pipe, but level, silly li li lift it up. There you go. And we went ahead and lifted it up. We got a little bit of uh, we got a little bit of slack in there, right? What's the problem? Well, the problem is that the freaking sewer tie-in is a lot higher mm -hmm. than the actual pipe is. They sloped this upward. Right, exactly. Here, and it's created standing water, a big belly. Yes. Basically here to there. Right. So we need to cheat, cheat it up a little bit, get what we can out of it. Then from that fitting to that fitting, it's screaming at least half an inch a foot. So what we're gonna do is tweak it, cheat it just a little less than a quarter inch, even though we're not supposed to go. We get you gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> I don't feel like ripping their whole driveway up. So where that 45 is, this, I think it's twisting a little. And then this is sloping really hard and there's some grade here. So we took the dig bar to lift the pipe up just a skosh. Mm -hmm. to, so we can bring that up. Then we're going to cut it there and regrade this and hopefully have enough grade to do the tie in here where there's no valley. Awesome. All right, we're going to get back in this trench and get that done. So we were super worried that this wasn't going to have enough grade. Um, and as you can see here, that is not the case. We're just a little above a quarter inch per foot right here. And then you said it's an eighth over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the old pipe. So here's the old pipe. So, so yeah, look at, look at that belly. Oh my gosh. That is not okay. Anybody watching this, <laughs> keep in mind, not okay. Um, so yeah, man, we're freaking, we're happy campers right now, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, we went ahead and made the connection, and my dad is sea snaking it out right now just to double check inside of the inside of the pipe. 
make sure everything got connected solidly and that there's no water sitting. I have a sink running inside the house right now. So that way water will th flow through the pipe. And here's our connection. So that's the existing pipe. We went ahead and connected to a three inch turn co. Um, I set it out the pipe a little more, connected to a 45, to a 16th bend, and then all the way down to the final connection. And that is the main sewer. Sorry, it's really windy outside. But anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and get this all finished up and I will film as much as I can from here on out. So we're putting the rocks back. We like to uh, make it like we were never here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep up the stuff, sweep up the rocks in the driveway, put the stuff back into the van and get going. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I am filming this outro on a different day today, but I just wanted to let everybody know that I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think that I want my next video to be about leak detection. So if any of you guys are interested in learning more about leak detection, I know I am. I would love to be able to share that information with you. So again, don't forget to subscribe, keep an eye out for that, and feel free to tell me in the comments about any videos or things that you may want to see in the future. I appreciate it. All right, I'll see everybody later. Bye.